So I'm here to talk to you about my ZL1 2018 Chevy Camaro ZL1 6.2 liter LT4. So had some problems tuning it. Um, we believe it was to the supercharger. The supercharger was bad. So I'll, in, I'll put a clip in right here. You can take a listen for yourself and uh, I'll get back to you with what I'm talking about. All right, so now that you heard that noise, uh, what that noise was, was the um, outer, where the, where the pulley is. Uh, it was that bearing, the inner bearing, and then uh, our good friends over at uh, Kong Performance. Um, I say our good friends, because anybody with an LT4, that's our good friend. Um, so he, sh he told me that the couplers on the inside were bad, which I uh, also known, and I'll throw that in right here. I don't know if that's normal. So what it was doing was, as you heard in the first video, it was making that loud, not supercharger whine, but the almost like a bad power steering pump whine. And it was doing it really bad. It just didn't sound good. Um, sent it off to Kong Performance. Um, they rebuilt it in a couple of days, got it back, put it back on and, uh, everything is good. So I'll go ahead and put some pictures in here of, of, uh, how it, how it worked out. And I'll talk about how to take it off and put it back on real quick. And I'll show you that. All right, so if you're watching this, I'm sure you're familiar with this motor. So what we did here was we put the 2.3 Grip Tech pulley on with the hub. So it's a pressed on hub that allows you to remove the pulley and take the pulley off as you want. As you want. All right, so with that being said, you can't, I mean, maybe somebody can, I don't know, but removing this snout is almost impossible in car. So you have to basically take this lid off, just the bolts going all the way around, the bolts in the center, you wanna take this lid off. After you remove all these uh, uh, vacuum lines, disconnect the coolant lines, uh, obviously do the tensioner, take your belt off, pull your intake off, then underneath the lid, which I'll put in the picture, um, there'll be a bunch of other bolts. You wanna undo those bolts, undo the sensors in the back, I disconnected the fuel line clips just to make them easier. You don't actually need to, but I did disconnect the fuel line clips. Uh, I left this whole harness in front. I just went backwards and above it. Um, so after that, uh, basically what I did was I uh, put it all back on the same way. So I did the lower suit, the, you know, the supercharger first with the lid off, obviously, because you have to get to the bolts. Uh, it's 89 inch pounds all the way around. Uh, there's a sequence for it. You could just Google it. After that sequence, you do that same 89 inch pounds, sorry, inch pounds in the same sequence again. Then you put the lid on and you do 89 inch pounds on the lid following their sequence. And then you, you know, you double check that again as well. Uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy. In between all of this talking, you'll see, uh, I'll, I'll put in pictures, obviously. It's all pretty easy. Uh, it's all straightforward. If you have any questions, you can just throw in the comments. Uh, but with that being said, Kong Performance, let's talk about them for a second. So Kong Performance sent me a box. I suggest anybody who wants to do this gets the Kong Performance box. The reason why I say that is they send you a box. It is, uh, it's ready to go. It's got perfect cutout foam padding, which is going to be really good it's going to protect your uh it's going to protect your supercharger you know there's been stories before people pack it on their own it gets cracked that's no good 
So you order the box from Kong Performance. They will send you a box. It gets there extremely fast. In that box is going to be pre-cut out honeycomb, uh, a foam. Um, the supercharger is going to fit in there perfectly. You send it back to them. Uh, and then they'll send it to you again. You know the box is protected. You know your supercharger is going to be protected. I don't think I have to say this. Everybody knows Kong Performance is the guy. Uh, it's not just the guy. It's the company, right? Uh, his employees and his techs. It is the company to deal with for these cars. ZR1s, Z06s, LT4s and the Camaros, LT4s and the Z06s, that's the guy. So uh, check out the video, tell me what you think. I'll put some pictures in. I'll even show you his box at the end. All right, so now I'm gonna put in a clip right now of what the supercharger sounds like now after the hubs and coupler were rebuilt. And take a listen, that 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 noise, the, the whiny power steering pump noise is gone. Take a listen. All right, here's the box from Kong Performance. As you can see, uh, this 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 damage right here was from me, uh, but nonetheless, it's cut out, it's shaped out. There's a bump on the bottom of the LT4 supercharger, fits in here perfect. The two bumps on the back side of the supercharger fit in there perfect. The hub, the snout, and the pulley fit in here perfect. Offers a very good, solid amount of protection. And then it's covered by that Colin performance. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop a comment. I'll get back to you and uh, answer it to the best that I can. There it is. Go get your stuff rebuilt. Go get it ported. Colin performance.